What about West Ham? Today we get strong views on them, both from Jimmy Hill and from Jack Charlton. But first of all, let's get on with the action at Upton Park yesterday. West Ham against Leeds, and what a task it's going to be for this reshuffled West Ham side, so recently demoralised by the events in Blackpool. Well, today they have a new captain, and it's Jeff Hurst, who should lift their spirits somewhat by coming back into the side after a month out with a painful back injury. So the side is still without Bobby Moore and Jimmy Greaves, and now there's a further blow when goalkeeper Bobby Ferguson is ruled out with a finger injury, Peter Grotier takes his place. Hurst and his men, of course, are fully aware of the power of Leeds, even though Leeds come to London today without their skipper, Billy Bremner. Mick Bates takes his place at number four, as he did recently against Crystal Palace. And now Perini. There seems to be so much space for Leeds as they come forward. Bates trying to turn it off for uh, Maidley. And now it's with Lindsay. West Ham passing really is uh, by no means up to standard. They really can't break Leeds United at the moment. Here's Giles again for Leeds. And Clark with a header. And Grotier must just have got a fingertip to it. And the crowd stupidly coming on. Those boys really ought to get off and should know better. Good header there by Clark, dipping his head low. Brooking to Hurst. And Brooking again. Giles in very quickly on Brooking. It's Hurst and play on, says the referee. Now Brooking, will he get a shot in? Oh, down goes straight to save well. And that really was a bit more like the old West Ham. I suppose in skill and thought, probably the first genuine look that we've had of the uh, West Ham side so far in this game. Certainly in defence, West Ham are taking no chances whatsoever. They know they can't afford to be a little too clever. And safety first is, I suppose, the code of conduct out there. There's a good cross there from Hunter, and Jones going for it. And McDowell straining himself to get it away, but only as far as a corner. John McDowell right in front of his goalkeeper had to get up really high to avoid that flicking off his head and behind Grotier. Lorimer will play it wide again for Giles to drive it. And there it is from Johnny Giles. There may have been the slightest deflection there in that to West Ham defence, but no doubt at all that Johnny Giles powered one in there. Following that to a corner to put Leeds United into the uh, lead with 32 minutes gone. Lampard and Hurst. Well, using his body there to good advantage for West Ham and Eustace right up there and Cooper and Redner! Oh, and on the blind side of Cooper without seeing it and Jack Charlton is giving his defence a fair bit of stick there. I think he's saying to Sprake that you've got a call for it and certainly Sprake was rooted to his line and Cooper had no idea. There's Sprake's version of it. And there's a fair old ding-dong going between Sprake and Jack Charlton at this moment. Cooper completely unaware that Redknapp was coming in so fast on the blind side. That could so easily have been the equaliser for West Ham. Jones doing well, holding it until he could find somebody. But Red... Uh, Brooking now for West Ham to Redknapp. That's a good little run there, but I don't think it'll worry. Sprake too much over that bar and behind. Oh, and he's given a corner and Sprake is angry about it. Sprake is really furious and so is Jack Charlton. They say it went straight across and the referee says that Sprake put it over. And so the corner given to West Ham the linesman already positioned for it, here comes the corner and Taylor going in and Sprague holding it and a foul given against West Ham in any case but Jack Charlton's not going to let him get away with it as easily as that Bonds now Jones coming back to tackle uh, Billy Bonds and Jones in fact flicking it wide there for Lorimer Clark is off 
Got three West Ham defenders surging around him, but he finds now Peter Lorimer. Inside for Johnny Giles. And Hunter coming up fast to drive it! Oh, and what a goal! What a goal by Norman Hunter! What a fabulous goal by Hunter! His first goal of the season, and my goodness, they don't come better than that. Putting Leeds two into the lead. No wonder he's looking so pleased with himself. And Lindsay. Redknapp. Brooking again. And Redknapp once more. Across there for a header, and down goes Sprague from Eustace. Lindsay, a little flick up over his own head. And Cooper finally getting it away, but only as far as Redknapp with a chance to cross it there. Hurst going in on it and Jack Charlton to get it away. Lindsay once more. Good play there by Lindsay and a fair looking cross there. Hurst, Eustace there, a goal! No, not given, not given. He's disallowed it, he's disallowed it. And there's a boy on the pitch and really he ought to get off. There really is no sense on youngsters running on. Whether it was a goal or not, Eustace heading it past break, but disallowed. Well, that disallowed goal may have given West Ham the feel of things a little bit, but there's still so much for them to do. There's Eustace going in again with a header, and this time it is a goal! This time it is a goal! By Peter Eustace! That does open it up again with 11 minutes to go. Reaching nicely for that one with his head to tuck it firmly wide of Gary Sprague. Hunter seemed to be going about three different directions at once there, but he certainly blocked it well. Now Hurst. Redknapp going in hard and beating Cooper's tackle. Hurst again to cross it. And this time Bobby Howe getting there with his head and blocking! Oh, he's equalised! Oh, he's equalised! Trevor Brooking! Well, that's a marvellous comeback by West Ham! Brooking's header finally doing it. Lorimer and Bonds again. Lorimer high into that area. Giles is there and so is McDowell. Cooper to turn it back once more. And Taylor this time to get it away as far as Lorimer. Now Bates. High into that area again and once more Billy Bonds is there. Lampard to get it away. Once more to Bates. Oh and now Lorimer. Oh! It's there by Belfit. It's there by Belfit. So a great comeback by West Ham is silenced as Leeds themselves make a great comeback and Belfit closes in quickly after Grotio got a hand to it and puts Leeds ahead again. So in the end, then, a heartbreaking defeat for West Ham, although I suppose, to be brutally frank, you could say that their tremendous spirit never quite matched up to the superior skills of Leeds United. And somebody who was brutally frank about West Ham afterwards was Jack Charlton when I spoke to him. I asked him how worried Leeds had been by West Ham. No, not at all. In fact, I thought I'd crossed my mind about ten minutes ago that this was probably one of the worst West Ham displays I'd seen. We expected a bit more from them. In what way was it bad in your eyes? Well, they didn't do, we heard they did a great deal of chasing in Arsenal last week and fighting for the ball. We expected a lot more of this than in fact we got. But then we got it in the last 10 minutes to, know, to some extent. What about your performance today, the uh, Leeds performance? Oh, Johnny Giles was great. Different class, John. Norman Hunt has got two goals, in fact. One was a deflection, one. But his right-footed one was brilliant. Beautiful goal. The performance of the team, I thought we won it comfortably even though we did now to give it away in the last few minutes. I'm surprised that you're so hard on West Ham. Well, you, can't, you can only be sympathetic so far. You know, it's, it's, it's a first division, and uh, we need to win. Draws or losers are no good to us. We have no time for sympathy from anybody at the bottom. We've got to trample over them if we can and, uh, and get the points. You know, we, we have the time for sympathy. Nobody has any sympathy on us. So, apart from the last ten minutes, the worst West Ham display we'd seen 
Leeds United won comfortably. The views of Jack Charlton are most